Hi, my name's Riley Duran, Chief Executive Officer of Carbon Mapper, a new nonprofit organization. Our mission is to help catalyze and fill gaps in the emerging global system of systems for monitoring methane and carbon dioxide emissions by delivering data that's timely, actionable, and accessible for science-based decision-making. Multiple studies of key regions, including airborne surveys equipped with advanced NASA remote sensing technology, provide compelling evidence of a relatively small population of methane super emitters, including some important lessons. First, these super emitters are often responsible for up to 30 to 50% of a region's total emissions. So these are important sources to mitigate. Second, incomplete or inaccessible emissions data presents a challenge both to regulators and oil and gas companies that have committed to decarbonization. Third, the intermittent and unpredictable nature of many super emitters, combined with the current high cost of monitoring widely distributed infrastructure, are barriers to timely detection and repair of leaks. Our surveys of the Permian Basin offer some examples. On the left is a false color movie of methane blooms observed by one of our aircraft flying at about 18,000 feet. This offers a vivid illustration. These super emitters are broadly distributed across the landscape, and they often go unseen even by operators who are motivated to find leaks to avoid product loss. As the animation on the right shows, many of these emissions are also quite variable and intermittent, which has major implications on the cadence and frequency of monitoring programs. Meanwhile, in California, we found that when we share our data with facility operators, they often report that as much as half of our detections are the result of leaks and malfunctions that were previously unknown. This suggests low hanging fruit for near term progress. We have initial indications with feedback from operators that voluntary efforts to repair a small number of these super emitters have already resulted in mitigation equivalent to at least 3% of a state's total methane inventory. These pilot projects suggest that high fidelity imaging spectroscopy can be scaled up using a constellation of satellites that offer persistent facility scale methane monitoring over key regions globally, with a goal of enabling more effective and affordable on site leak detection and repair. To do this, we've assembled a public private partnership that includes Planet, the California Air Resources Board, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory major universities and other non-governmental organizations, all powered by philanthropy. We're on track to launch the first two satellites in 2023, followed by the build out of a larger constellation by our commercial partner Planet in 2025 that will offer daily monitoring of priority regions. Carbon Mapper will deliver quantitative methane and CO2 emissions data through our public data platform within 90 days of each observation. Additionally, Planet will offer a rapid methane leak detection service to subscribers with alerts as quickly as 24 hours following detection. Carbon Mapper satellites will be equipped with high precision and high spatial resolution imaging spectrometers that offer methane point source detection limits in the 50 to 100 kilograms per hour range, as well as flexible observing modes that allow trade-offs between sensitivity and area coverage. Each satellite will be capable of observing over 200,000 square kilometers per day on average, and also provide the ability to monitor emissions from offshore oil and gas platforms. These capabilities can support detection and quantification protocols, like the notional example shown here, which can be tailored to specific applications. In closing, the Carbon Mapper Constellation will provide operational facility scale monitoring for super emitters that complements and improves the effectiveness and efficiency of conventional site level surveys while increasing transparency and confidence. All towards meeting ambitious methane emission mitigation targets this decade. If you'd like to hear more about our program, please check out Planet's companion talk in this forum, as well as my talk on monitoring systems of systems at the satellite panel session on August 24th. Thanks for your interest and have a good day.